All right, so um, this is the final talk of this session. So we're going to talk about how to get rich with um, seven parametric Gaussian couple models. So, all right, um, I'm William, and this is my partner in crime, Troy. So we're interested in predicting the financial risk from earning costs. So usually what people do is that they, they do not directly predict these um, returns, but they predict the volatility, which measured financial risk. So first of all, what are these earning costs? Earning costs basically summarizes these financial outcomes and also operational result of the company in a specific amount of time. So here we're looking at the quarterly earning costs. So the return is just the ratio between the stock price of day t divided by day t minus one, and then you send your data. So it's a pretty standard definition in finance. And then we look at measured volatility, and maybe this looks familiar to you. This is the measured volatility from day t to day t plus tau. So this is just this, you can actually see this is actually a standard deviation, okay? So it's measured the fluctuation uh, from day t to day t plus tau. And we're looking at the earning call, which happens on day t minus one. So this is a pretty difficult prediction problem. So, um, all right, so here we're interested in popular models. Popular is not actually well studied in uh, machine learning. I think it's more of, uh, known to uh, statistics. So popular basically is good because you don't have to make assumption about the distribution of the covariates and also the dependent variable. <laughs> and um, you explicitly model the correlations among these random variables. And there are pretty nice theoretical guarantees such as the Scala uh, theorem which tells you that given that you have these marginal CDFs, you can uh, have um, uh, popular. And if the CDFs, marginal CDFs are um, continuous, then you have a unique um, popular. And we also have uh, a nice bounds for these models. And here, basically, we're doing non parametric kernel density estimation first because, you know, speech, uh, 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 text data is pretty sparse. So you have to smooth out the distribution be before you calculate the empirical CDF of these um, uh, marginals. And then here we show some example of Gaussian coupler, which is just, um, you can use to model the correlation between these marginal CDFs. And uh, to learn this model is pretty easy because uh, for this parametric part, you only need to look at a covariate, uh, co a covariate, covariance function. And in the inference, it's a little bit tricky because theoretically you should be able to calculate the um, expected value of y, which is the conditional distribution of y given all the x's. But uh, solving this integral is actually quite difficult. So we're approximating um, the result by sampling different values of y such that it maximizes the uh, uh, density of this uh, Gaussian uh, 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 popular PDF. So I assume everybody did it. Who did not see this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll talk about that maybe in the uh, poster session Wednesday. All right, next slide. <laughs> So uh, the experiment, so we are basically looking at the earning costs from the publicly listed uh, US uh, companies and then on the, uh, we're measuring it by uh, uh, the experiment's correlation. We compare with the standard baseline, which is linear regression and assume everybody knows. So on left hand side, we're showing when we increase the number of features, how does the result change? And you can see that our proposed same parametric Gaussian calculator model significantly outperformed um, the standard baseline. So on the right hand side, which shows the, when we increase the number of instances, um, how robust our model is. And we also see that it also uh, continue to um, outperform linear regression. All right, so to conclude, um, basically we propose an interesting pre-training learning and inference approach for our novel same parametric text regression model. And we show that it outperform a standard baseline in our paper and also in our um, Poster on Wednesday will show you more results comparing to support vector regression, which is a bit, uh, little bit uh, uh, strong baseline. And uh, we also interested in continuing this line of work because it's really interesting. And we are thinking about some interesting idea, for example, looking at specific couplers for text data and also how do we scale up this Gaussian coupler because it's rather difficult. And also uh, the weighting schemes and different couplers. And also we're thinking about um, uh, making this as a conference submission to some conferences. So um, I assume now everybody convinced that uh, you should drop your PhD and uh, start up a hedge fund. So if you have any questions, just let me know.